So a couple of the different issues that we've noticed and seen for Molson cores to address in the near future um, would be we, uh, the growth of the marijuana industry and microbreweries and craft beers gaining more popularity. Um, the marijuana industry has been growing steadily since legalization uh, a couple of years ago and it's becoming more and more ex generally accepted and more states are voting towards legalization. It's very possible that it can be federally, federally legal um, in the near future. So a lot of people can see weed as a substitute for beer and that's why Molson Coors needs to address this. So there are two ways that Molson Coors can address it. Um, the first one is through forward integration. So if Coors pours more money into advertising, for example, like um, putting their beers up on billboards or um, selling it with, through more retailers and wholesalers, such as you know, grocery stores and liquor stores, um, which marijuana can't do, they'll have that leg up over the marijuana industry. Um, and then the second way is lobbying. Um, so this plays into the political factor. Um, so if they lobby against uh, marijuana distributors, growers, um, retailers, and all those people in the industry, um, while, the, while, while it's still small and not recognized at a federal level, um, then they can also gain that competitive advantage over this growing industry. So the next issue we saw was the growth of microbreweries and craft beers, um, definitely gaining popularity among the millennials and even larger segments of the of Molson Coors targets, target market. So um, microbreweries and craft beers themselves have been garnering a larger market, sh market share. Uh, in 2011, it was only at 6%, it's since doubled, and it's still steadily growing. It's kind of capping off, but definitely still a growing industry. So Coors has to find a way to address this. So to address these uh, incoming rivalries, um, the best way to do that is through uh, industry consolidation or horizontal integration. Um, so for example, they bought out Colorado Native and Terrapin Brewing Companies, which are both microbrewers. Um, and essentially what this will do for Coors is if the craft beer industry, this s segment of the industry starts to grow like it has been, um, and Coors keeps buying up these small companies while they're cheap, um, what's going to happen is um, they will profit from both the, you know, their regular beer industry that they've been in for so, such a long time and also the craft brewing industry that's rising right now. So um, this will be like kind of a, a double incentive for Coors to do if they consolidate through the industry and lower the chance of rivals um, taking their competitive advantage.